Hey folks, it's Grant Stride over here at Local Coolie Farms and uh, and Big Tough Farmer. Um, you know, right now I'm working on uh, two social media platforms. Uh, one, which is the, um, you know, Gulf Coast restorative, regenerative uh, agriculture type site that I've been posting a lot on um, on YouTube and Instagram and then our local cooling farms Facebook page and then I've got another one that I started on this year which is Big Tough Farmer which I have not been posting a lot of stuff on um, because we've been super busy with a lot of things and the posts on Big Tough Farmer take a lot of prep work on my part whereas uh, the actual farming pictures like me being out here being like hey I'm moving the cattle today or I'm moving the pigs today or we just set up the hog deep litter hoop house that stuff is um is fairly easy to do because all I need to do is video it and then do a quick edit and then upload it. There's not a lot of foresaw forethought into it. It's just like, hey, I'm doing this. Let me try to record it and then I'm putting it out there for folks. Um, you know, but the the problem is is that the information out there uh, being put out into the farming community, especially in the direct to consumer farming community uh, and the homesteading community. Um, there's, there's too much of the actual hands-on farm strategies, like I'm posting about, hey, the deep litter and moving the cattle. All that stuff is like, you know, it's all the dessert. <laughs> it's no vegetables, right? And so we think that it's cool, it's using tech, it's super sexy, you know, the animals are involved, you're out there, you're outside, you're sweating, you're living the dream, you know, you're working outside, all that kind of stuff. Um, and the majority of the information that we see and the advice that we see is um, um, is not the strategy-based stuff. It's the implementation, right? It's the boots on the ground um, uh, implementation tactics of what we're doing. And we all, and I, I'm included, we all eat that stuff up, right? It's the strategy and the forethought, the long-term planning and the goal setting of our farm and homestead that is painful. You know, nobody likes sitting down planning stuff. We wanna go, 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 go. We wanna get this done, right? We wanna do this stuff. And so, but we can really get ourselves into a jam uh, when we do not think things out. Um, and, you know, just, just yesterday, I was uh, basically kicked off this Facebook page it was a pig, uh, you know, it's a like a pastured pig type page. And somebody had asked about castrating pigs. And we're, we're fire to finish, so we castrate, you know, we, we, we breed pigs, so we have piglets that we need to castrate. Um, and then we sell the pork, so we're getting them processed at a USDA facility. And uh, somebody wanted to know, should you castrate or not? That's a big debate. Um, and I just commented, uh, if you're going to sell the pork, castrate, because... Um, the inspector at either state or a federal facility um, is subjective, but they can say, hey, I smell taint and they can throw the carcass out and then you lose thousands of dollars. And so from a business strategy, uh, just from pure business, like if you just ask any business guy, hey, should I castrate? They're going to ask questions and they're going to ultimately say, well, it sounds like if you don't castrate your pigs, it might be risky. So you should go ahead and castrate because that'll keep you from running into problems, right? And so, um, so that that's my perspective on it. That's my opinion. That's what we do. Um, and so, um, so somebody who um, is in the pig world uh, has been around for a while, um, kind of said that you know what I was saying was a, a myth, you know, quote unquote myth, and kind of. And so when when I you know my personality, if somebody says. What I'm saying is a myth uh, when I'm genuinely trying to give good advice, like legitimate, like just genuine advice, um, you know, I'm going to be like, no, that's bullshit. <laughs> and so uh, uh, that person couldn't handle what I was saying. And so they're administrator on this page. And so they kicked me off. And so my, you know, uh, and the, the difference of our different arguments was, you know, he was saying that the whole boar taint thing, the reasons to castrate were a myth and it it's doesn't make sense. Well, you know, this is like, that was his idealism and his personal context and his personal feelings towards castrating. And he was giving these people advice. 
And so, and I was like, hold on, you're giving bad advice because if somebody listens to your idealism and they raise up a bunch of hogs that are intact, they have their testicles and they bring them to a processor and they kill the pig and they hang the pig and the, the inspector goes and looks at the carcass and he smells it and he says, hey, throw all that stuff in the, in the trash bin. You have no recourse. You have no recourse, right? And so, you're, and so I, I would never set anybody up uh, for failure like that. And so it's just unbelievable to me that somebody is going to pontificate um, not doing something that's going to potentially uh, get them jammed up. And, and the fact that I got kicked off that page is just so symbolic of the information that is out there in the homesteading direct-to-consumer um, world. And so I, I'm not saying that people give bad advice, but I'm saying that the advice out there is coming from people who want to overlay their personal opinion and their personal context onto what you're doing. And they got away with it for years. And so they're going to say, hey, you can get away with this for years. And they're setting people up for failure. And so that's why whenever I give advice, I, I, heart, I try not to say do this because it might be bad advice based upon your context. It's always, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm finding. This is what I found to be true in my experience, but it's going to be different in your experience. You need to get that information and then you need to adapt it to whatever that you're going through in, in that time and place and that terrain and that climate. And that's just so important. And so, you know, the, the, so just be careful. Uh, my point is to be careful out there and what information and advice that you're getting from people. And so I, I almost wish that, uh, uh, up and coming farmers or folks that want to get into farming that they don't ask other farmers for advice. I would rather that they ask a seasoned business person uh, for their input before they ask um, any seasoned farmer for input. Uh, because frankly, farmers sometimes make these business decisions that are, um, they're crazy. They're, they're insane. They're completely insane. They're like schizophrenic decision-making processes that are out there within the farming community. And so I really just want to, um, to let people know uh, before <laughs> you get any advice from anybody, make sure that you do an, a logical, strategic-based account of the scenario. We have been posting a lot of stuff and we'll continue to post stuff about um, the actual uh, boots on the ground, um, uh, implementation um, and and tactics of what we're doing here on our farm. So boots on the ground stuff is going to be uh, on this channel, uh, but long term goal setting, strategic planning, um, you know, smart business thought processes, all that kind of stuff, um, as well as a lot of the challenges that we face as farmers is going to be on the big tough farmer channel. I, I've divided these two channels and platforms up because uh, it's really hard um, to have a popular uh, YouTube or Instagram channel when all you're talking about is uh, strategic goal setting <clears throat> because that's like asking people uh, to do nothing but eat their vegetables without any dessert. And then the videos that I'm doing of the cattle and all this kind of stuff, um, the tactics, uh, that's all dessert. And so we're basically going to have a platform with all the dessert. And then we're going to have a platform where we're going to be asking you uh, to eat your vegetables. And so if you've been getting a lot of stuff, uh, a, a lot of good information, um, or you're motivated from watching what we're doing here at Local Cooling Farms, um, we would not be able to do uh, any of what we do here on the farm if we had not um, worked um, hours and hours and hours, you know, sitting down with a pen and paper on the strategic side, um, which is what we talk about um, on the Big Tough Farmer platform. And so I have not been posting a lot on the Big Tough Farmer platform just because those, um, those videos take a lot of time to uh, prepare for. 
Uh, they're much longer. They're like 30 minutes, uh, 60 minute type videos. Um, and so what I'm hoping is <clears throat> if you see that we're actually uh, truly out here every day doing what we're doing and we're actually farming, that if I tell you um, if you want to have a successful farm and do what we're doing, uh, you need to have uh, the, be heavy on the strategy and be heavy on the stuff that we talk about in the Big Tough Farmer channel. I'm hoping that you go over to the Big Tough Farmer channel um, and then you get a little, you, know, you get a little bite of the, the vegetables, the, you know, the harder to swallow stuff. Uh, Cause it is hard, you know, like I can make all these videos and say, Hey, it's all wonderful out here and it's all good. Uh, but the, the, you know, what is unseen are all the hours and the heartbreak and the blood, sweat and tears and the planning, um, and the teamwork that went into be, me being able to come out here by myself, move some cattle, take some videos and, and, and talk about how, how awesome this is. So, um, so I invite you to come over, uh, check out the big tough farmer channel. Um, I've got a list of topics and other things that we're going to be talking about. If you have anything that you want me to talk about on the big tough farmer channel, uh, then you can comment here, send me a message or whatever. Uh, but I just want to throw that out there, uh, and let you know what we're, um, what we're up to. That's my long-term strategy. So my long-term strategy, which I thought a lot about on social media is that yes, we want to share our tactics on the Gulf coast. Uh, but we also want to share our strategy, um, that we're implementing, um, on the Gulf coast as well. And so I feel like we need two different personalities, uh, two separate, uh, channels to be able to address those things. Cause they're both, um, they both have a heavy content to it. Uh, so anyway, so that's what I wanted to talk about today. So, uh, so check out the big tough farmer deal. Uh, if you have any questions about it, uh, feel free to ask y'all have a good one.